Okay, Kevin, we've talked about small test plots. We've talked about maybe an introductory uh, uh, a producer that wants to just try a few bags. Our new invigorate that we have comes in a liquid. It's a two component. You've got a component A and component B, and it's all, all ready to go when you put those two components in there. And we're using that at a four ounce rate of application. Now, you and I have treated a lot of bags, and we've, you and I have used anywhere from maybe a six ounce rate to a, uh, maybe a 10 or 11 ounce yeah. rate per unit. And the only thing we have to do is add additional water to the new product. Mm -hmm. So it really works sweet. So tell me when you're doing your test plots, kind of your procedure of putting a 80,000 kernels in here. And show me what you've got in your hand there about how, yeah. how you actually do this. So and this is an electric cement mixer. Yep, nothing it, fancy. It, really, it, it works really well to hold 80,000 kernels. Very well, and we actually put a box right here and we can dump it over in the box or we dump it right in the bag. And a lot of times we put it in the same bag for test plots. And so we actually take uh, your product and uh, we put it in a larger container so that it can hold the way it's put together. And then we got it, I've got it measured. That's that's one, this is actually for eight ounces application. So that's one unit, two unit, all the way up, uh, three, four, five, six, eight. And uh, so it works really good. So I just, I've got a little spigot on my mixing tank that I use. I just take and put this in, I just pump it up by hand. And I just sit there and just spray it. And what I do is I run it and when the corn is no longer sticking on the sides and everything's dry, then I'm done. It, and it. it don't take long. No, it don't no. take long at all. And then we dump it in there. And if you've never used seed treatments, this is the perfect way to do it. Cause you know for a fact that you put exactly the ounces per 80,000 kernel units on that seed. Right. And there's no question. And it's gentle on the seed, it don't hurt the seed. It's not going, you're not going to see uh, uh, pericat damage or any type of uh, kernel damage whatsoever in it. So let's just say I had a 24 row planter, and, or let's say I had a 16 row planter and an eight row corn head. Yes, sir. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to split that planter and I'm going to treat eight bags in a 16 unit, or I'm going to treat 12 bags. This is a really economical way to do that for right. you to get your, kind of get, do a test plot to see if Invigorate's going to work for you. Well, you need to. You need to do it in a test plot. And I also highly recommend, Philip, that what I like to do is, I like to label this. So if, I, if I'm planting hybrid 80-20, uh, for example, then let's say just whatever there, I'm gonna put an acronym on it and I'm gonna put I8 or I8P. So for Invigorate or Invigorate Plus. Okay. So when I put that variety number in my planner, if I've got the capability to do that, then it looks at it as a, just a separate variety. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to harvest it, your variety locator on your combine is gonna show it half that planter is going to be showing a different variety. It's the same variety, it's just a different seed treatment. Right. And that I8 is going to tell me it had Invigorate on it, or that I8P is going to tell me it had Invigorate Plus. And you ain't got to keep up with it. You ain't got to have flags in the field and try to go back and make sure that this is the one that had the, the inoculant or the uh, additive or anything you do, any test, that's how we do it. Whatever we add to that seed at planting, we put it in acronyms at the end. And it really is what shows that your product works better than the control there. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a bad day and it don't work as good. It could, it could. One of the things too, Kevin, about it, uh, splitting a planter like that is you got replication. Exactly, and you gotta have that. All the way across the field, varying soil types, whatever. And so you can go in then and you can look at that and you can see the, the difference. And when you do it on an 80,000 kernel unit bag, depending on your population, you're looking at a two to three and a half acre test plot with multiple checks. And, and that just separates the man from the boys. Mm -hmm. Sure does.